digitally, my music is performing well, converting on ads, being picked up by Spotify's algorithm, gaining relevant followers, etc. But I would like to gain a stronger hold locally, not just online. Any suggestions on building a local buzz? Also, would you recommend doing an ad campaign just targeting my city, even though it's on the smaller side? Total population of a million. Thanks in advance for the response, boss. All right, great. First of all, Leo T, congratulations on the fact that your ads are converting well, right? Because um, a lot of people don't even get to that point, but there is more work to do. All right, so you would like to gain a stronger hold locally in general. I'm imagining that you're, you know, you might even be doing completely international in terms of where you're converting with your ads right now. Yes, I suggest running ads targeting your city. Why not? You're running them like now, if they're performing horribly, then it is what it is, but you can at least do a, you know, five to $20 test to start to see how people are responding in your area. It doesn't matter that it's a smaller, um, a smaller radius. What matters is you're getting the attention that you need. The only thing to do is, is manage your expectations because your ads might be more expensive when they're local, but remember that you're covering more ground, right? Let's, let's, let's bring this board out real quick. So if you're marketing around the world, you can have, you can barely see this. You can have all these dots, right? Five dots in the space. And then you have a smaller space, right? And you might have five more dots and you have an even smaller space, five more dots. Now, what's the point of this? This might be more expensive than marketing here, but this also doesn't come with the benefits of marketing here, where now that all these people know about it and they have more chances of overlapping and touching each other, getting to know each other, and now it's like, oh snap, you like this song too? Now they're playing this song at a party together because they like this song and it's starting to spread more organically versus all of this spread right here. These people might be in five different countries. You get what I'm saying, right? And multiply that five by 5,000 and the effect still, still stands because there's less people I mean, there's more people, but they're spread around in more places where you can get these people for less money. I mean, more money, right? But they're more concentrated. Or maybe you get half of the people, but it's still more concentrated and you get more of the organic effect. So that's what you have to do when it comes to um, targeting more specific things and spaces. You have to have that expectation that it's a good chance it will be more expensive, but understand what the trade-off is. That's the difference between strategy and people who just pay attention to cost per click. I really wish that artists understood that this game is far more than getting the cheapest ad that you can get. Way, way more than that. But that's a whole nother conversation for another day. And let's see, what do we do next? Um, other than that as well, there are some offline strategies you can you can do, right? There's you might have a local radio station. I don't know if you have a cl if a, a club type music, but you can hit up some DJs and pay some DJs. There's multiple things that you can do. There's also local influencers, right? People who aren't as big online, but they are, um, but they have a legitimate real world influence. If people were influencers before social media put numbers to it, right? There's that girl in school that makes every other girl kind of like pay attention, right? And they're kind of copying her style and things or, or she she gets the word out. Same for guys, right? And it's beyond school, this real life. There's a guy that connects everybody, puts everybody on to anything. So if you know any of those people, that helps, right? If you have any schools around, there's it's easy to find those types of things. So now you're targeting with ads off, 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 I mean online, and then you're hitting some real world influences online, offline if possible. And then of course, you can use those real world influencers that you meet directly in the real world or find a few of them in social media and have them post digitally as well and cover up that area. So if we're targeting and then I have about four or five local DJs or or four or five local uh, popular people in, in college or or something like that. Right. Or just people who might not even be in college or the music industry or anything like that, but they're just people around town who have a decent following of other people around town. That all happening at once, that'll start to create a decent little little buzz in the city, right? And especially if you're doing that consistently, all right? So remember, it's a beautiful thing actually, when you have people in specific cities 
they might not have a big following, so they're not re used to these influencer budgets and everything, right? They aren't used to that. However, I mean, so that means they'll be cheaper. However, they still have incredible influence with a certain set of people and is more guaranteed that the people are from where they're from or that concentrated location because they haven't gotten to the point of their influence where there's people from all over the world that know about them. So they might only have 2,000, 5,000, 10,000 followers. Something to consider and to think about.